Now let's find the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum of this function f of x is x squared minus 4x plus 5 on this interval between 0 and 3. Okay, so how can we do that? Our first step is going to be to take the derivative of f of x, set it equal to 0, and solve for x. That way we're going to find critical numbers. So the, the derivative of x squared is just 2x. The derivative of minus 4x is just minus 4. And the derivative of 5, of course, is just 0, so we don't need to write it down. Now we can set f prime of x equal to 0. We can add 4 to both sides of the equation. And 4 is equal to 2x. Then we divide both sides by 2 and x is going to be equal to 2. So we know that 2 is a critical number. And now we can calculate the value of f of x when x is equal to 2, or just f of 2. So let's figure out what that is. So we have 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 5. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 5. 4 minus 8, negative 4, plus 5, positive 1. So that is f of 2. So now we also want to calculate the values of f of 0 and f of 3. Because then we want to compare all the values and figure out what is the absolute maximum and what is the absolute minimum. So starting with f of 0, 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 5. We're just going to get 5. How about f of 3? 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus 5. 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 plus 5. We're going to get positive 2. Great, okay, so um, the lowest of these values is 1. So there's an absolute minimum. Minimum of 1 at x equals 2. And y, of course, is 1. And the absolute maximum is going to be, of course, the highest number within the interval. And the highest value is 5. So there's an absolute maximum. Wow, I can't even spell today. <laughs> absolute max at x equals 0 when y is 5, of course, and that's the absolute maximum right here. That is the absolute minimum. And that's it.